NGBN-TV, a network for men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, coming January 2024. Welcome to the Rundown with Rubio for Wednesday, September 27th, 2023. Here we go. Number one, everything happens for a reason. Target is closing nine stores in New York City, Seattle, San Francisco, and Portland due to ongoing challenges related to crime and safety concerns. Yeah, that's what's going to happen when you let anyone just rob anything they want under like $950 or whatever the law states. And there's no crime being com you know committed because they're not arresting anyone for it. People are going to just keep doing it over and over and over. And like we've said before on this show, companies need to make money. That's their job. That's what capitalism is. If you don't, they don't make money, they leave to make money at another location. So with these major cities that are having a lot of trouble, you know, basically, let's say investigating crimes or even arresting people for doing crimes, these big companies are out and you can't really blame them. So everything happens for a reason. Why are these big cor corporations leaving? Because they're losing money. Start arresting people. Number two, there are winners and losers in life. Canadian House Speaker Anthony Rhoda resigns after honoring Yaroslav Hunka with a standing ovation during a visit by Vol Volodymyr Zelensky. It turns out Hunka was a legit Nazi back in the day. And if there's anyone that people can all get behind of saying, yeah, they were really, 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 really bad people, it's the Nazis. And this is not the fictitious Nazis. These are the actual Nazis. So this guy comes into Parliament and their Canadian House, and everyone's Yay, rah, rah, rah. And turns out he was a Nazi. So this is not a very good look. Stand up guy, though, the Canadian House Speaker for actually resigning after doing it and just taking the L on this one. So winners and losers in life. It's kind of all losers on this one, to be honest with you. Accept and embrace. Texas continues to bus migrants to sanctuary cities. Over 12,000 to D.C., 15,000 to New York City, 9,200 to Chicago, 3,000 to Philadelphia, 1,800 to Denver, and only 650 to Los Angeles. You, are, you guys are the ones that voted for to be sanctuary cities, or the people that you voted in voted or told you guys were going to be sanctuary cities. So you just have to open the door, like I said before. If you're going to have this big party, you want everyone to show up. And then when people actually start showing up, you can't say, whoa, 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 party's closed. You're the one that wanted the big party. So now put out the appetizers, turn on TV, turn up the music, do what you got to do, get a disco ball. More and more people are coming because you can't just say, oh, it's the border problem. Yes, it is a border problem. But when they say, hey, we don't we didn't sign up for this party we're pushing it to you you have to accept and embrace it fourth one working hard is not enough starbucks is spending billions with a b on new machines and ways to drink make drinks faster supposedly there are 383 billion that's another b latte combinations if you've ever traveled around the united states or abroad and you've ever seen a starbucks in an airport here's the easiest way they can make money starbucks listen up hire more people that's all you got to do yeah, these machines will be nice. Hire more people. If you've ever been to Atlanta, Chicago, any major airport in the morning on a Monday, Tuesday, heck, any day of the week, and you'll see a line, probably get 30 deep at every Starbucks. Hire more than one or two or three or four baristas. Hire five, hire six, hire seven. I don't care. You will make your money back there. I just saved you a billion bucks. You're welcome. So working hard is not enough. Work hard and get more people. That's all you got to do. Uh, last one, confidence is the key. Aaron Rodgers, who is out with an ACL injury, is telling Zach Wilson to play free and confident. Yeah, Zach, you, this is one of those things. The New York Jets knew right out of the gate, okay, they were banking on Aaron Rodgers. He was their whole thing. He was on hard knocks with HBO, all this stuff. He gets down within the first 48 seconds of the season. He's done for the year. No one's expecting a lot from you, Zach. Just do what you got to do. At this point, just let it rain. Play 100% full speed. If you go the wrong way, at least you're going full speed and just have some confidence. No one thought you'd be the starter or else you'd have been the starter. So you really have nothing to lose. Play free and confident like Aaron Rodgers says. If you have any questions, you can email rubio at therubiomethod.com. Have a great day.